Hey guys, so today we are going to understand that what is the difference between Gouret shading and Form shading. So let us see that what is Gouret shading first. That is in, suppose we have a polygon, then a polygon has one normal vector per vertex. But instead of interpolating the vectors, the color of each vertex, that is the color of each vertex is calculated and then interpolated across the surface of the region. Now what we mean by this is that suppose we have a polygon. This is the polygon and these are the vertices. Now from, from the first statement we get that each polygon has one normal vector per vertex. So let us draw a vector at each vertex. So this is the vector and this is the vertex. So now we will be interpolating we will be inter interpolating the intensity values that will be calculated instead of interpolating the vectors. That is we will not be interpolating these vectors. We will find out the value at these uh, vertices and then you intensity values at these vertices then we will be using those intensity values and interpolate them across the surface of the polygon. That is which, which is given by the last line that is the color of each vertex is calculated and then interpolated across the surface of the polygon. Remember that we are not interpolating the vectors. We are using the vector to find out the intensity values at each vertex. Then these intensity values, that is say the intensity values IV, are interpolated across the surface to find out the uh, color at each point. So now let us come to form shading. Now in form shading, suppose we have a rendered polygon and it has one normal vertex vector per vertex as was the case in Gouret shading. Now the difference here is that that the shading is done by interpolating the vectors across the surface and then calculating the color for each point on the surface. Now let us again consider a polygon. Let us we have, say we have the same polygon and this is the vectors. These are the vectors at each vertex. That is this vector 1, this is vector 2, this is vector 3. Now in, uh, in previously we did not interpolate the vectors but now we will be interpolating the vectors that is we will interpolate these vectors and across the full surface of the polygon that is we will not be finding out only the uh, intensity values at the vertex now we will also be interpolating them and finding the values of the colors at each point on the vertex that is now each point will be found out and its intensity point will be found out using the vectors that is we will be interpolating the vectors and here what we were interpolating we were inter interpolating the intensity values now guys if you are able to understand these two points these are the most important points of difference between Gouret shading and form shading that is this form the basis of the other differences between them so if you are able to understand this well and good but if you weren't able to understand this no problem you can just rewind the video and watch it again it is very simple let me go through it again suppose we have a polygon over here in Gouret shading and we are interpolating the intensity values at the vertices which will be found out by the vectors. Now in Gouret in form shading what we will do is we will interpolate the vectors instead of the intensity values across the surface and found, find out the values of colors at each point of the surface. Now let us come to the second point of difference. Now suppose it requires we can say that Gouret shading requires less time to render an image as compared to form shading. So this will be the opposite of Gouret shading that more time is required that it requires more time but the quality that is produced is good that is quality is better than Gouret shading. Now the third point of difference is that it is also very important point that the intensity values are calculated here the intensity values at each vertex as we saw earlier is calculated and interpolated across the surface of the polygon. Now over here the intensity values are not interpolated. Here we interpolate the normal vectors that is it 
interpolates the normal vector across the whole surface of the polygon. Now keep on writing these points along with me so that you are able to understand it quickly and uh, <clears throat> nicely. So now we are going to write the fourth point of difference. That is, suppose we, there are lighting equations that we use in order to render images. That is lighting equations. Lighting equations are beyond the scope of this course that we are doing, but we will be uh, simply seeing that what is and when it is used. That is, it is used at each vertex in Gauret shading. That is, at each vertex, we will be using a lighting equation. Whereas, the lighting equation will be used at each pixel. That is, over here, the lighting equations will be used at each pixel. So that is why it produces better quality images than Gauret shading at as the lighting equation is applied at each and every pixel of the object or the image. But over here, we only apply the lighting equation at the vertices. That is why the image quality is not very good. But the rendering is fast as compared to Fong shading. So now let us come to the other points of difference. That is, let us come to point number 5. So now in point number 5, we can see that the Gauret shading will produce smooth surfaces of the rendered image. Whereas in Fong shading, it will produce smooth surfaces. That is the smooth surfaces will also be produced over here. But an advantage over here will be that shining surfaces will also be produced. That is we will have smooth surfaces as we had for Gauret shading. But along with that, we will also have shining surfaces, which is a major advantage over the Gauret shading. Now let us come to the sixth point of difference. Now there are certain anomalies or certain errors which occur while rendering and these errors are known as MAC banding or we known as MAC bands. So these are present in Gauret shading and these are also present in Fong shading but they are reduced, their effect is greatly reduced. That is they are greatly reduced effect in Fong shading. That is, MAC bands are there in both, but the effect that they produce in Fong shading is very, very less as compared to what they produce in Gauret shading. So now let us come to the last point, or the second last point, that is the seventh point. That is, it gives comparatively less accurate results. That is, the results are less accurate, or we can say less accurate, accurate results. And here it will be the opposite. That is, we will have more accurate results. that is in Fong shading and this is for Gauret shading and now the cost let us come to the last point and discuss the cost for both of these these rendering techniques that is for Gauret shading it requires less calculation and this greatly reduces the cost of the shading steeply as there are lesser calculations so the it is cost effective that is it is cheaper and let us come to Fong shading it requires more calculations, so we can say that it requires greatly the cost of the uh, rendering technique increases, that is it is expensive as compared to Gauret shading, that is this is for Fong shading and this is for Gauret shading. So these are the 8 points of differences between Gauret shading and Fong shading and the most important difference is the first point and the third point. If you are able to understand these two points then you are clear that what is Gauret shading and what is Fong shading. Now let me just again explain the third point. Uh, here we mean that the intensity values at each vertex that we calculated using the vectors is interpolated across the surface of the polygon. Whereas in this we interpolate the normal vector which is present at the vertex across the whole surface of the polygon and then we find out the values of the uh, color pixels at each point of the surface of the polygon. That is why the uh, image that we are that are produced in Fong shading are more clear and of better quality. Here the images produced will be of lower quality 
and it will take less time and here it will take more time so these are the main points of differences between gauret shading and fong shading and most importantly being the first and first one and the third one and the rest of the points of differences are really easy and you should remember at least five of them in order to write them in your exam so this is the difference between gauret shading and fong shading and guys if you are able to understand the all the concepts discussed over here just write wow in the comment section and it would be great to know that you were able to understand it and before leaving just click the subscribe button and it would be really helpful for us in order to create more such videos in order to clear your concepts so guys this is it for this video see you in the next one